Mm-hmm. Who can get the grossest picture? Personal. Okay, he said you like getting. <laughs> okay, yes. You got him. Be- dick, message please. Back. <gasps> I got nudes from the guy. No, yes! no. Fifteen points. You did. Ooh, little uh, tush. Yes. It's just like a little right. tush. He should have given more effort. Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, welcome back to another creepy video. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about something very, very intense and scary and very real. We're gonna be talking about night terrors. Night terrors are a sleep disorder causing feeling of terror or dread. And they typically occur in the first hours of stage three to four sleep. Now, when a person gets a night terror, they suddenly wake up in the middle of the night and they're screaming. They're also usually sweating, they're confused, their heart rate is going crazy, and they can be thrashing around their limbs and punching and swinging at nothing. But while this is happening, they're still asleep. And then the next day, they have no memory of it. Now, most times their eyes are open, so it seems like they're awake, but they're not. And if you try to wake them up while they're having a night terror, that can be incredibly dangerous. Now, night terrors are extremely scary and very fascinating. I mean, they've made countless numbers of movies about them. They even have a video game where it shows you what it's like to be in a night terror. Now, one of the common misconceptions is that night terrors and nightmares are the same thing. They are incredibly different. Now, a nightmare happens when you're deep in sleep, like you're in the REM cycle of sleep. And yes, you can wake up screaming, but you usually remember the whole dream, or at least a part of it. And when you wake up, you're fully awake. Now, a night terror is literally the exact opposite of that. You don't remember your dream, you are not fully awake when you wake up, and you can have a full-on panic attack while you're having a night terror. Now, night terrors usually occur very often with kids. Kids are such efficient sleepers, they get stuck in sleep. Their body wakes up and their mind is still fast asleep. Now, if you're the parent of a kid who has night terrors, it can get really scary. At that point, she will acknowledge that I'm there and start yelling at me something to the effect of, leave me alone, go away. She'll charge at me sometimes. She's swung at me. She has spit at me. She's doing this all while very cognizant of her surroundings and aware that you're there, seems as though she's awake. I mean, not only is it dangerous because your kid could like swing and hit you, but it's also just really, really intense seeing your child screaming and freaking out in terror and you can't do anything. Now there is a few ways to help kids who are having night terrors. Now usually they occur around the same time every night, usually one to two hours after the kid goes to sleep. So if you're the parent or the older brother, go into the kid's room and wake them up. Now if you wake them up and then they go back to sleep, they probably won't have the night terror. Now, like I said earlier, a lot of kids grow out of this. Sometimes they don't. And sometimes adults who never have them as kids can start getting them later in life. And when you're an adult, they can get even more intense. In this home video, a Japanese man makes the ritual moves of a samurai warrior, stabbing his imaginary opponent, then finishing him off with a flourish. All this time, the man is sound asleep. Now, another problem that comes with being an adult is what if you have a spouse? And what if you're having a night terror right next to them while they're sleeping? I mean, what if you start getting violent and your arms start flailing and you start moving around your limbs? It can get really scary. This man acts out his dreams. One patient like him tied himself to the bedpost each night to prevent himself from attacking his wife. Now, the reason why people have night terrors is still kind of unknown. I mean, scientists know exactly why we have nightmares. It can be triggered by stress or medication or spicy food. And if you avoid some of those things, then you probably won't have a nightmare. But they have done countless amounts of sleep study on people who have night terrors, and they've tried everything they can to see exactly why they have them. And they've only come up with a few reasons. Usually it involves people who have anxiety disorders or PTSD. Now, of course, there is ways to control them, therapy, medication, but it is still very, very scary when you have them. Now, that was a clip from a movie of somebody having a night terror, but it's not that different in real life. In some cases, it's worse. And a lot of people like to film it. They'll set up a camera while they're sleeping because they want to see exactly what they're doing in the middle of the night. Just check out this clip that this woman filmed of herself. <laughs> and this one isn't her like screaming or you know throwing her body around. It's just her waking up and just the look on her face. Just, just watch.
Oh, <laughs> that fucking face. That was like a scary movie. Oh my God, I'm gonna have that face, that image in my head forever. Now, sometimes people who are having night terrors can also sleepwalk. And this guy filmed his roommate sleepwalking and having a night terror in the middle of the night. Oh God, it is so creepy to see him just walking around this apartment as if he's awake and then just leaving. Here, look. I'm setting up the camera to see if Randy's sleepwalking because I think he is. He says it's not, so I'm just going to leave the uh, camera running to find out. So we'll see. I know, just seeing him like walk out the door, <laughs> like what if I was that guy and my roommate showed me a video of me just like sleepwalking and leaving the house, you would have to like strap me to my bed at night. Now this one guy put up a recording of his girlfriend having a night terror and it is so intense. So I'm just warning you, if you are triggered by the sound of very intense screaming, then you are going to want to leave this video. Hello everybody, this is Canso here. I just wanted to make this video really for um, purposes of education. This is what I've noticed from living with and being in a relationship with someone that has night terrors. <laughs> Imagine the neighbors. <laughs> Although I guess it's scary that the neighbors haven't like questioned it yet. Like, hi, what the fuck? <laughs> So now that we've shown some clips of night terrors and talked about what they are, I thought it might be interesting to interview somebody who has had a very intense history with them. Now you guys might remember a few weeks ago, I interviewed a girl named Kat who had a very, very scary experience with anesthesia awareness. And she told us the story of what happened when the doctor was doing surgery on her while she was actually awake. Now that experience was so traumatic that it actually gave her PTSD and she had to start going to therapy. And the PTSD is kind of what triggered her having night terrors. And some of the experiences that she's had are horrifying. Okay, Kat, you are back. Thank you so much for uh, doing this interview. Um, now you have had some very intense night terrors. I've seen a lot of your videos. You've done a story time on one of them where you tried to beat up your boyfriend. It was very intense. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's my husband now, so I mean, he survived. Right, <laughs> he's dead. So you were talking about the fact that your night terrors started after your anesthesia awareness experience, right? Yes, um, I did sleepwalk as a child, so I think I probably just have a propensity to have sleep disorders in general, but the night terrors didn't start until the PTSD from the anesthesia awareness, which was a really traumatic experience. So can you explain the feeling of a night terror and kind of like walk us through one of your experiences? The first really intense and painful experience I had with the night terror was I woke up and I was on the floor and I was in a lot of pain and my husband was trying to wake me up. Apparently, and I don't actually remember anything about the night terrors themselves 99% of the time. So I just woke up, my heart was racing, I was terrified. I have never felt so scared in my entire life. And he was just trying to reassure me and get me back into the bed and, you know, check me for injuries. Um, and most of my accounts of my night terrors are secondhand for him and what he remembers. So he woke up and he said it looked like I was being dragged out of bed by my feet. And the bed, my side of the bed was about two feet from the wall. And he said it looked like I was being dragged out and clawing my way back into bed. And then I slammed into the wall so hard that I left a dent in the drywall. What? And I broke two ribs and then fell to the floor and then was trying to claw my way underneath my nightstand, I guess. And he said it took him probably about two minutes to wake me up from that, that night terror. And I was screaming and the only thing I actually remember from before I woke up was the sounds of my screams. I didn't even know that humans could make those sorts of noises they were like it was just like someone was being murdered <laughs> and this was when we had just moved to the bay area from near sacramento and so we were renting a room for my aunt and she said she woke up and she heard the screams and she thought i was being murdered oh so she locked god. her door oh my oh my god that's so fucked up <laughs> 
Thanks, Pia. <laughs> but also the same. Now, you had one night here that you talked about in your story time where you tried to jump out of your window. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> that was in the same house. We were still renting from my aunt at that point. And my husband woke up, and it was right when I, like, stood on the bed and leapt to the window, and I smacked my face on the window so hard that I woke up. And I woke up, and I had no idea what was happening. I'm like, I thought my husband had done something, and I was like, what the hell? What just happened? He was like, I think he just tried to jump out the window, which is kind of terrifying, but I'm lucky I didn't break anything that time. I jammed a finger, and that was painful. But that one wasn't so bad. It wasn't as bad as, like, the time I full-on attacked him in my sleep. <laughs> Wait, so how do you get rid of them? Have you gotten rid of them? Do you still have to stay up all night? <laughs> um, I try and cut down on stress. I sleep with a mask because we found that if there's any light in the room, that tends to trigger them. So I guess maybe I'm opening my eyes in my sleep and seeing this and then imagining it's something else. Right. And most of the time, my husband can wake me up before a night terror gets too bad. So a lot of times I would have one where I would just sit up in bed. And most of the time, I would think there's an animal in the room. And I'd say like nine times out of ten, I would sit up and yell, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? And he'd be like, it's the laundry basket. Go back to sleep. And I'd be really insistent, like, no, that's not it. That's not it. And so he'd have to wake me up in order to get me to snap out of it. Wow. Well, oh my god. Well, please stay safe. Keep all your windows closed. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, oh my god. Guys, if you want to see the whole story time she did, it was intense about her night terrors. I will put the link down there. Check it out. God, what other fucked up shit has happened to you? <laughs> I feel like I could do a whole series just on you. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well, stay safe. <laughs> There you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed this creepy video. If you did and you want more creepy videos like it, please give me a thumbs up so I know. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel right down below and hit the notification bell because I make new videos every day. And if you want to see more videos like this, I have done videos on scariest stories ever. I also do a bunch of conspiracy theory videos. I will put a link to a playlist right at the top of the description below. Alright you guys, good luck sleeping. Bye.